Newcastle Fans TV. Hello everyone and welcome to the Drive Up preview. It's uh, just after half past eight in the a.m. as I record this now. I've got about 150 miles to go to Newcastle for today's game against Brentford. With what should have been Eddie Howe's first game in charge. I don't know whether you'd say it technically is or not, unfortunately. You would have all heard by now he tested positive for COVID yesterday, so won't be in charge today. Obviously, we wish him well. Hope he uh, recovers soon. Um, <laughs> typical Newcastle United, let's face it. Typical Newcastle United. Um, so Jason Tindall and Graham Jones will be uh, the hand on the tiller today. I'm very much under house instructions, I'm guessing, so we'll still see that, that kind of new kind of said I'm guessing it'll be a new system because the old one under Steve Bruce was <laughs> was not very good at all so it'll be how's ideas how's tactics so what can we expect from today obviously he's had just over 10 days with the with the squad obviously missing a few from international duty I think Miggy's only trained once Fabian shares only trained twice um, Will them lads be involved? I doubt it. I doubt it. I think you'll see Ryan Fraser today. I think that's going to be key going forward, the relationship. Can he reignite that flame between Fraser and Wilson um, like he did at Bournemouth so, so well? Um, it's the most anticipated team sheet I can remember for, for quite a few years now. Um, right the way through the team, there's decisions to be made. I'm starting in goal. Um, Dubravka's 100% fit. That's a big decision to be made. Personally, I would I would like to see Dubravka back in the sticks today. I think it's a good opportunity for, for him to get back in the side. Um, some people see it as a no-brainer. What I found interesting as well yesterday in his pre-match presser before the, the COVID news broke was the two players that he had picked out for, for praise in that presser was kind of Marmite players, um, John Joe Shelby and, and Joe Linton. So maybe we can see, who knows, Joe Linton, Fraser and ASM behind Callum Wilson. Maybe. I'll run off the bench if he's, if he's fit and, and ready to go after coming back from the other side of the world. Then you got defence. Jamal Lewis away with Northern Ireland, that would kind of suggest Matt Ritchie will play at left back again. Is that the right thing? I don't know. <sighs> Jamal Lewis hasn't had a proper crack at the whip for a good good while now, so I know a few people would like to see him back in the start at 11, and, and I would too, to be honest. Right back, If is there a back four to be played? Will it be a back five? There's a decision to be made there, and obviously Federico Fernandez out of the whole match day squad under Graham Jones. Some people think, especially with our defence being so poor at the moment, that, that he should be back in the side, along with Fabian Cher, who, again, I, I'd, I'd be very, very surprised to see him today. Very surprised. Um, because of he's not had as much time to work with, on the, uh, with Eddie Howe on the training ground and instil the new mentality, <coughs> the new way of working. But uh, yes, I'm just coming through the Pennines now. Lovely stuff. Uh, me and Johnny, Lee, uh, Liam, oh, Adam will be there, Josh will be there, Harry will be there. And you've got Carl, uh, Steve and Brandon on the watch along. Uh, the online team today as well. So, it's got to be three points today. Uh, hopefully, we do see a bit of a new manager bounce. Obviously, we're not the only team coming back from an international break with a new manager. You've got the likes of Villa, who are at home to Brian, new manager bounce. They'll be hoping for there with Stephen Gerrard and Norwich with Dean Smith as well. But it's a blow, let's, let's face it. I mean, war flags, bless them. I feel so sorry for them. They're, 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 I love them guys. The commitment they, they showed there is such a credit to the fan base and they were at St James's Park at gone 11 p.m. last night um, reorganising their, their flag display because they were hinting at a, a, a welcoming to Eddie Howe display and now that's obviously got to be to be 
uh, rejigged. So that'll have to wait for the Norwich game, I'm guessing. But yeah, who knows what they'll come up with today. Um, hopefully we do see a bit of a bounce and that shift in, in, in playing style. Because Brentford aren't going to uh, come to, to play with 10 men behind the ball. They're going to get at us as well. And Ivan Tony, of course, who we all know. Probably not as well as we would have hoped to have known him, but I suppose you've got to thank Rafa for that one. Um, he's, he's in flying form since he's joined Brentford, so he's obviously their danger man. And they've got some good players who have started really well in the Premier League, but as, as, as with most newly promoted teams, their bounces at the start of the season and then they slowly get beaten down with the, with the grind that is the Premier League. So, look, the next three home games starting today has to be nine points. There's no getting away from that. And uh, hopefully we can do the business, keep it tight at the back. Who knows? Fingers crossed, everyone. And let's hope for three points. How are the lads?